So you want to learn how to pitch your movie idea and sell your script with style. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Brianna with Script Reader Pro, and in this video, we're going to show you how to do just that. Let's get into it. You've learned how to write a screenplay. You've written a few grade A spec scripts that have received ringing endorsements from script coverage services or acquaintances who work in the industry. You've learned how to sell a screenplay, and now, finally, the moment has arrived. A studio executive really likes your work and wants you to come in for a meeting. Or maybe you just ran into him at a party. In either case, now's the time to learn how to pitch a movie idea. And that's what this video is all about. Here's what's coming up. What is a film pitch? What happens in a meeting to pitch a script? How to write a pitch for a movie? How to sell a movie idea? How to pitch a movie idea in a meeting? Following up on a film pitch. So let's dive in. What is a film pitch? A film pitch, screenplay pitch, or the phrase to pitch a screenplay simply means verbally selling your script to someone in the industry who may be interested in it. These people are usually studio executives or producers. The elevator pitch. The most common form of screenplay pitch is the elevator pitch. So named as it should only take around 60 seconds to deliver. 90 seconds is fine, but anything over it, you're probably going into too much detail. You may be called upon to deliver one of these if you're invited in for what's called a general meeting to discuss your script. But you need to be ready to deliver one at the drop of a hat in case you run into an exec somewhere randomly like, say, an elevator. The 20 minute pitch. These tend to occur more often in general meetings. A 20 minute pitch involves getting into much more detail, laying out the story act by act, sequence by sequence. You have much more time to describe characters, themes, and specific scenes, but the general principle remains, stick to what's essential for the reader to know. In either case, a screenplay pitch is basically a sales pitch by telling the story in a brief but exciting way, hopefully without sounding too aggressive or salesy. Overall, the primary goal of a movie pitch is to get people excited about the concept, characters, and story, and working with you. General versus specific meanings. A general meeting is usually an informal chat about you and your projects. This is so the exec or producer can get an idea of what kind of writer you are, your writing voice, and what you're working on. It's the most common form of meeting and what we'll mainly be discussing in this video. On the other hand, you may be called in to pitch for a specific job, such as a rewrite or a new project. These can get tricky because the game these days is that execs and producers will pull in a dozen writers and get a dozen different takes. Then pick the take they want and choose a writer, even if it wasn't their take. If you snag a one-on-one -on -one with an exec or producer about a specific project, it can help to leave a one-pager behind. Leaving a lookbook or pitch deck is also encouraged these days because the more you can add to your pitch package, the better off you are. Some scripts are easier to pitch than others. Movie ideas with a high concept are easier to pitch than ones with a low concept. A film like A Quiet Place, for example, would be much easier to pitch than, say, Roma. Here's the logline to A Quiet Place. In a post-apocalyptic world, a family is forced to live in silence while hiding from monsters with ultra-sensitive hearing. Just from this logline, it's easy to visualize the poster, the trailer, and the movie. All the juicy stuff execs and producers love to do. This is because the conflict between protagonist and antagonist is clear. And it would also be easy to break down this plot down into an exciting six seconds. On the other hand, here's a log line to the 2019 Oscar winner, Roma. A year in the life of a middle-class family's maid in Mexico City in the early 1970s. Like Roma, your movie is a slow burner that's light on plot. You need to find another way to engage the listener and sell the script in its best light. The best way to do this is by crafting a pitch that also focuses on what the movie's about rather than just what happens. This means spending more time on character, theme, and maybe broader social political issues than would be normal for a high concept movie. You don't want to just talk about Cleo's journey of love, loss, and redemption entirely though, at the expense of plot. All theme with no context can lose the listener, so striking the right balance is essential when pitching low concept movie ideas. Can you pitch a movie idea without a screenplay? Despite what you may have heard, there isn't a market for standalone movie ideas. You can't sell a movie idea. You can't copyright a movie idea. There's no special place you can go to submit movie ideas. Movie ideas are essentially worthless because anyone can come up with them. It's the execution of an idea that matters. 
Execs and producers looking for movie ideas are looking for the whole package. An idea, a script, and a writer they can work with. What happens in a meeting to pitch a script? Here's a rough guide on what to expect if you get invited for a general meeting to give a screenplay pitch. Waiting to be seen. One to five minutes. Some of the most nerve-wracking moments any writer spends are in a production company waiting room. Try to stay calm, practice breathing exercises if necessary. Hellos and small talk. One to five minutes. First impressions mean a lot, so here's where you try to immediately build rapport by being friendly and outgoing. The screenplay pitch, one to 20 minutes. The most important part of the meeting, obviously. Q and A's, five to 20 minutes. Your chance to explain anything they didn't understand but also a chance for you to ask them a question or two. Wrap up, one to two minutes. Give a firm handshake and exit. We'll go into more detail soon on how to navigate a pitch meeting like a pro. If your screenplay starts to generate some serious heat, you may be asked in for a series of pitch meetings on what's known as the water bottle tour. On this tour of sorts, you'll get to pitch a screenplay to a variety of different execs and drink 60% more water than you usually consume. It's an exciting time and quite possibly the beginning of your screenwriting career. It's also the moment you realize that writing a grade A screenplay was just the beginning. Now, you have to sell not only your work, but yourself. How to write a pitch for a movie. The key to crafting a great screenplay pitch, whether it's an elevator pitch or a 20 minute pitch, is to stick to only the most important beats in the story. Approach the screenplay pitch as if you have one minute to tell a friend about your fantastic movie idea. Here are some general do's and don'ts to keep in mind when learning how to write a film pitch. How to pitch a movie idea, the do's. Start the pitch by establishing the genre and maybe giving a brief introduction as to how you came up with the idea. This will help create context for the exec before you plunge into the main story. Stick to what's important and lose everything else. What's important is the struggle between protagonist and antagonist and the trauma you put them through. Not scene description, not dialogue, not minor characters, and definitely not the title. Spell out the important beats, the inciting incident, call to action, big event, act one turning point, etc. There isn't really a hard and fast rule as to whether you should reveal the ending or not. Some writers like to leave them hanging, others prefer to tell the whole story, and both options are perfectly acceptable. Exploit genre. If you're having a hard time making a comedy sound funny or a horror sound nerve shredding, there might be a problem with the script rather than the pitch. How to pitch a movie idea, the don'ts. Don't overrun your allocated time. You run the risk of boring the audience if you go over the one or 20 minutes you've been asked to sell your screenplay in. Don't compare your screenplay to existing movies. Saying, think like La La Land meets Memento isn't particularly helpful. It also makes your project sound derivative rather than fresh and original. On the other hand, some writers do this to good effect, so this one isn't really set in stone. Don't mention specific actors. Your taste might not jive with the execs, so it's best not to mention who you'd love to see in the film. If asked, mention a few possibilities, but make it clear you don't really mind. Remember, you're open and easygoing. How to sell a movie idea. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Some writers overly prepare for their script pitch and it ends up coming off slightly robotic. Most, however, underprepare. Here's how best to strike the right balance when preparing for a screenplay pitch. Who are you pitching your script idea to? It's amazing how many writers go into meetings without knowing anything about the company or studio they're pitching to. Find out what they've produced and who their key players are. Have an answer to why you think your script would be a great fit for them. Practice your screenplay pitch. Practice your pitch to get the 60 second or 20 minute timing down packed. Say it to yourself in front of a mirror and maybe record it too. You'll notice things when you watch a recording of yourself talking that maybe you've always missed. Once you're comfortable pitching a film idea to yourself, it's time to practice your pitch in front of other people. Get different reactions from anyone who's willing to listen. Friends, family, coworkers, etc. And pay attention to their nonverbal cues as you speak. Do they look engaged or fidgety? If you're feeling really brave, test your screenplay pitch out on strangers or acquaintances you hardly know. This will really test your nerves and prepare you better than pitching a movie script to a loved one. Plan your night, day, and journey. You don't want to miss an important meeting because you got stuck in traffic. Get to bed at a reasonable time the night before, plan your journey to get there earlier than you need to, and research parking spots, subway times, or cabs. Wait in a nearby coffee shop if you're too early and try to relax. 
Any snacks before a meeting can cause unnecessary nerves to kick in. So try to remove as much stress as possible by planning every detail. Here are the main do's and don'ts to remember as you deliver your screenplay pitch. How to pitch a screenplay in a meeting, do's. Establish rapport. You're much more likely to get a favorable response from an exec or producer if you get to know them a little. Rather than launching straight into a movie pitch as soon as you enter the room, establish some common ground. Ask how their weekend was. Look for a common interest in ways to connect. Be interesting. Execs and producers get pitched a lot. If there's something unique or interesting you can say about yourself, it will help you stick in their mind. If you breed rare cats, for example, or used to be in the FBI, slip it into the conversation. Be the kind of writer they want to work with. In this business, having a great script is not always enough. Make a point of being as open, interesting, and as charming as possible. Try to come across as easygoing, but willing to work hard. Be passionate. When delivering your pitch, you want to get across your enthusiasm for the project. If they can sense that you don't believe in your story 100%, they're unlikely to either. Ask if they have any questions. At the end of your idea, listen to exactly what they want to know and answer as succinctly as possible. Avoid long, rambling answers that dive back into the story and attempt to fill in all the gaps. How to pitch a screenplay in a meeting, don't. Don't drink alcohol before a screenplay pitch meeting to loosen up or imbibe any other mind-altering substances. Yes, a glass or two of wine may help you relax, but it can also make you nervous if you start to feel its effects more than you expected. Don't mention politics or religion or express strong opinions about anything without first knowing what they think. Saying you just left Chicago after six months because you hated it so much might not go down well with someone who grew up in Inglewood. Don't be too passionate. While passion and enthusiasm is great, you don't want to overdo it. Saying things like, this story is like nothing you've ever heard. You don't want to miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Or, my script will make you $10 million, guaranteed is not recommended. Don't get defensive and prickly. If an exec suggests a terrible change to your story, say you're open to it. Avoid coming across as arrogant and precious about your movie idea. Accept all suggestions gratefully and save your opinion for the bar. Don't get flustered by difficult questions. This can happen if an exec wants to see how you react under pressure. If they try to throw you off, simply answer the question with a smile and keep your emotions in check. Don't take rejection personally. Often, the reason why an exec or producer doesn't want to move forward isn't to do with you or your pitch. There may be many reasons why they pass, so remain upbeat and friendly. You don't want to burn any bridges before leaving the room. Hollywood's a small place. Following up on a film pitch. Having pitched your movie to an exec or producer, it can take anywhere from seven days to seven weeks to hear anything, or longer. So don't despair if you don't hear back for a while. Many screenwriters fail to follow up and consistently miss out on assignments or sales. Don't be one of them. As we mentioned earlier, being interesting and standing out from the crowd can come in handy here. Rather than simply emailing the exec or producer after your pitch meeting, send a small gift as a thank you for their time. We recommend then following up on your screenplay pitch after three to four weeks. Then, if you don't get a solid answer on your script, ask when it'd be okay to check in again. You don't want to become a nuisance though, so make sure you leave plenty of time in between queries. How to pitch a movie idea conclusion. Learning how to pitch a script can be nerve wracking for many writers. It depends to a certain extent how gregarious and charming you are to begin with. But these skills can also be learned. Consider taking acting classes, joining a Toastmaster group, or getting out of your comfort zone in some way to make your screenplay pitch less scary. It's true that a lot can ride on a pitch, but if you look at it overall as a two-way conversation rather than speech, it should be okay. Finally, remember, every single professional screenwriter has been rejected at some point in their career. Rather than getting depressed about it, keep working on other projects. If you keep refining your writing and pitching skills, you're likely to succeed in the end. Alrighty, that about wraps up this video. We hope this has helped you learn how to pitch a movie idea and has given you the tools to move forward with confidence. If you have any questions at all, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And while you're down there, why don't you let us know? How many film pitches have you given? How did they go? Have you made a sell after a screenplay pitch? If you're enjoying this content, please be sure to check out the rest of the videos on this channel and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you receive an alert anytime we upload. And finally, if you are in the market for affordable feedback on your script from a professional screenwriter, please be sure to check out the link in our description bar below. I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.